Hi everyone, John Cleese with Lake Effect Garden Design and we have a plant spotlight for you, a uh, wild quinine. I got introduced to this plant a couple of years ago because I didn't really like the way yarrow behaved in the garden and I didn't like the way it got all leggy in the bottom. So I started planting this. It's since become quite popular. I'm not saying I popularized it, but it's become very popular with native garden designers. It's been blooming for a couple of weeks now. It started blooming before the 4th of July and we're now at the end of July. Still going very strong. It does get a little bit leggy on the bottom, so we've got some other grasses that will come in here and to help fill this in if you don't like that look. But really a great plant for the garden. Needs lots of sun, moderate, moderate moisture, not too dry, not too wet. Again, wild quinine, something for everybody's native garden.